Welcome. This is Tennessee end of course practice test number three for Algebra 1. Question number 62. The question says the speed of sound through dry air in meters per second is represented by the equation y equals 0.6x plus 331 where x represents the temperature of the air in degrees Celsius. Which graph best represents this relationship? Now I'm going to look at the uh, equation first and to give myself some perspective I'm going to convert this 0.6 into a fraction it's 6 tenths so it's not really I had to do a lot of thinking uh, basically it's saying that the uh, speed that you need to be going in terms of like how fast it sort of starts out at 331 uh, and you know the and temperature increases from there so the reality here is I need to pay very close attention to things like scale scale matters here we're going to look first at the uh, intercept this is y equals mx plus b stuff where this would be the slope and this would be my y so my y intercept should be at 331 this is a reasonable assessment of 331 as is this this is okay that's fine too now I'm going to look at the slope that's where the the key changes start to occur I'm going to go up 6 and over 10 so from A, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You see how I hit the dot there? Started here, went up 6 and over 10, and these are changes of 1 every time, so the scale really mattered here, because I legitimately went up 6 and over 10. So the answer to this one is A. Um, don't go back down to the zero and start counting up 6 and over 10. I've seen a couple of people do that lately, and I think it's just carelessness. Um, from here, I would still go, you'll notice the scale goes up by 1, here it goes up by 1 as well, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that one doesn't work. The scale of C and D make it easy to guess that C is the answer even if it's not, which it isn't. Um, it changes a lot. The scale here goes from uh, 1 every time and now it goes up by 10 every time. So a change of 6 goes up right around in here, and then it has to go over 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now if you lose it and forget that these aren't in 10s uh, where these are, you it's easy to think like, oh, you just go up 6 and over 10, so it falls perfectly right there. In fact, the first time I looked at the problem, I wasn't really paying attention to it. That's what I did. So I was like, well, what's the difference between A and C? Well, the difference is that 1 and 10 are not the same thing. So this dot is nowhere near the line. So this one is out. Same thing with this. If you go up 6 and over 10, right there. So D is out. Scale matters. It's a big deal and it's going to continue to be a growing big deal as you move forward uh, in sort of the common core assessment area because it can tell you the difference between one graph and another even though they look very similar. So that's it for this one. Not very difficult. Just make sure you pay attention to what the numbers are and you count correctly or you know, however you want to do the problem.